What would you do if this was your teenager? Montella, I hope you can help me. Her 17-year-old daughter is a high school dropout and desperate to tie the knot. Why don't you just wait three years to get married? We planned the wedding. I've got my dress. I'm a crazy one here. Plus, there used to be sugar daddy. Is that you or the sugar mama? Women who found true love with much younger men. You found yourself a sugar baby to take care of. Controversial relationships. That's coming up right now on Montel. Today, you know, today we're talking about relationships, and what I really want you to know is that how many people out there truly believe that age is just a number? Is it possible to be happy and healthy in a relationship with someone who is either much older or much younger than you are? And what about a couple that wants to get married when they're not even, they haven't even graduated from high school yet? They're not even 21 years old. Can a relationship like that survive, especially in this day and age? And I want you to take a look at this young couple who are convinced that right now, right this minute, they're ready to get married. As a matter of fact, they came here today saying if Monto would marry them on the stage, they'd do it today. Take a look at this. I met Joe when I was just 15 years old. I love Megan a whole lot, and on her 16th birthday, I asked her to marry me, and she told me yes, so we started planning for everything and whatnot. That's when it kind of fell apart. My mom had said something about us waiting a year. We do not want them to get married right now because they are too young. I think I'm ready to get married, but her parents really disagree because of our age. It really upset me because I had my hopes up. I really did. I really wanted to get married. And I had already gotten my dress and everything. My mom doesn't think that I'm mature enough to get married. They think they're ready. We don't. I love Joe. And I love Megan. We are ready to get married. Megan! <laughs> Explain this to me, girlfriend. 16. I'm 17. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed it. And we have been together for three years. Okay. Yeah, three years. But uh, Three was... years through, through from age 14 to 17. Those tough, hard years in life when you're dealing with a lot of things and maturing very quickly, right? You're that's together. why we have each other. That's why, huh? I mean, that's why we're ready to get married because we have each other through all the teenage drama, all the stuff that, you know, teenagers go through. We have each other through it, so. I was joking. You were? What? <laughs> when I said through all the drama, but good. So well, there you... is drama. I mean... But. Yeah, but that's that's what's so odd about it. At 16, are you sure? Th is this your first love? Yes. The love of your life. The love of my life. I'm really excited to get married. Joe, I really want to marry him. Love of your life? I'm, I'm sure about it. I'm really sure about it. So sure? You've, you've never been with another woman? I mean, I've been with other people, but I, I've never felt quite like this, you know? I feel like I'm really ready to go through with it. Well, wait, but if you've been together for three years, I mean, you started dating her when you were 17? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And before her, you had serious relationships? Not really serious. And before him, you had some serious relationships? I wouldn't call it serious. So how the devil do you even know that this is a serious relationship? Well, nobody ever really knows. I mean, you can't, you can just say that, you know, you love somebody and that you're ready to get married, but I know it. Like, other people might think they are, and they just... This lady know, sitting here shaking her head like this, doing the same <laughs> thing I'm doing, because I'm like... Uh, what do you what? I'm thinking to myself. Are you married? This is yeah. Yes. yes. What, you're like 25, 26. No, 40. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. But, but when did you get married? How old were you when you got married? The first time, 27. The first time, 27. And right. the second time? I just got married recently, not too long ago. And you know, I should also say my first time, 25. My second time, uh, <laughs> let's see, 32. <laughs> 33. I'm getting ready to do my third time right now. And, but let, what, me, what, hmm? let me just say, the first time I got married, I thought that was, a, I thought that that would last forever, and it lasted like 10 years. And I thought that was it. I thought I'd be married to him for the rest of my life. And you were 27. Yes. Jobs. And security. When I was, yes. Yeah. They, you, they, who has a job? He does. Where do you work? Uh, I used to work with their stepdad moving furniture, but I just got a job uh, installing elevators nationwide. Uh huh. Residential. And and uh, I'm just off. Of, I'm, I'm not putting down hard labor and good things like. But but what's the what's the hourly wage that you get? Right now I'm getting ten, but I'm just a trainee. Ten. And and you'll get how much when? 
He, I was promised 16. $16 an hour by when? End of the year, next Nine year? Nine months. He said that's how long it should take me to become a mechanic and Nine months. learn. Okay, now, and you're working? No, I don't have a job right now. I just stay at home and cook and clean and all that stuff. I don't have a job right now. I, I was working as a dog groomer. But, but see, I'm trying to figure out, $10 an hour, are you working, what, 20 hours a, a day? Mm -mm. How are you paying rent? I work, I work like 50... 55 hours a week. Somebody do the math for me real quick. 55, 500, blah, blah, blah. After taxes, 250. 20, how much money do you take, take home a week? $250 a week? I haven't quite got my first paycheck yet from this job. He just started. I just started my Who, new job. You live together. Mm -hmm. You have an apartment. Who's paying your rent? He is. Exclusively. I'm scraping by. Do you have not had to ask your mother and your father, both mothers and both parents for a little cash, for some rent, for some food? I didn't say that now. Well, yeah, we have to We've do that to every ask. now and then. I mean, when we, it's, it's cutting it close, really, paying the rent and everything like that. But I don't have a job, so it makes it a little bit harder. Explain the reason why we have to get married right now. Because we're ready. I do believe that we are ready no, to get married. You're not ready. You don't even have, you don't have, and you don't have enough. Do you have three outfits that you pay for yourself? I don't really know. Do you have three outfits you paid for yourself? Clothing? Pieces of clothing? I think all my clothing I paid for. Toothbrush? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <And> toaster? <laughs> yeah. Our house is fully furnished and everything. Mm -hmm. But you call a mom and dad to get a little money for food? Every now and then. Am, am I the crazy one here? They're looking at me like, what's You don't understand? This is what, are you stupid? Well, that was my whole thing to start with, was that we weren't really financially set. That, you know, I was You postponed the wedding. Yeah. Yes, he okay, did. So we don't have a date right now. No, not currently. Not right now, no. And, and but we are looking down the road. We've got Absolutely. to do this. What Absolutely. happens if I said to you, forget about getting married right now? Why don't you just wait till you both turn twenty? You're sixteen. You haven't even graduated from high school yet. Well, I mean, just you because quit you're school. twenty. Yes, I did. I had you quit choice. school. Yes, sir. You don't even have a GED yet. Well, I'm working on it, but I mean, I haven't got it yet, no, sir. Guys, come on. Honestly, you did you really think you could roll out here on the stage and convince me that I thought it was okay for the two of you to get married? <laughs> Between now and 20, what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, okay? You're going to get pregnant within the next year. Before that, next half a year, you're getting pregnant. And you're going to get real angry about that pregnancy because he's going to work. And as immature as you have been, because I hear that there's some immaturity issues that you have to deal with, that you guys are just the 700-pound gorilla in the room that nobody talks about. But as immature as you are, the second he goes out to even go to work, you're going to be up his you-know-what. Don't you look at that girl. Don't you look at that girl. That girl was talking to you. That girl was talking to you. And the next thing you know, homie's going to slide over. <laughs> homie's going to be sitting. Slide over. Oh, over <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you lay back at work one day with a couple of his friends and go, man, you know, dude, come on, let's go and get a beer tonight. I can't, I gotta go home to Megan. Oh, man, man, Megan be all right. Man, come on, let's get a beer because, you know, we slide, come on, let's go get a beer. We slide out, go get our beer. We have to be all up in the club, standing around, happy hour one night. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. You too, stand up. Then we all up at happy hour one night. He and I just talking, you know what I And your friend, your friend Rhonda, who was over there with her friend, she happened to see us talking, and I happened to be that night over here like this. He's just all up in the crowd. <laughs> and as soon as he goes home, what happens? What were you doing last night? Who were you with? And of course, he did this a few times. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a couple times. And she saw it. He does that anyway. She saw it. And it's calling you. And the next thing you know, we're all in divorce court. I'll be caught. I'll be take a break. We'll talk about when we go back. Let's sit back there. We'll be back. <laughs> think that I'm mature enough to get married, but I think otherwise. This is my wedding dress. It's just big and poopy. I probably shouldn't have said that, huh? Some people and friends have said this about you. You know, you're not the most mature 17-year-old out there. Well, I'm 17. I'm not supposed to be mature, but no. Well, then if you're not supposed to be mature, you're not supposed to be married. Well, I know my 30-year-old, you are not mature. Yeah, I said, you know, she's a sugar mama and you the sugar baby. Yeah. Uh, so is it okay being a sugar baby? That's all right. Yeah, it's stress-free. I met Joe when I was just 15 years old. I love Megan a whole lot, and on her 16th birthday, I asked her to marry me. We do not want them to get married right now because they are too young. My mom doesn't think that I'm mature enough to get married. They think they're ready. We don't. Let, let's go back to this. On my 16th birthday... 
Uh, you, you were at that point in time 19, right? Joe? Yeah. All right, so 19 years old, you roll in, you asked her on a six. Tell everybody how you did this. You said, well, girlfriend, what? Tell them what first, you did. First, I went and uh, I asked her dad for her hand in marriage because he told me, you know, before that he thought that was the right thing to do, you know. But before you even asked her dad, did you not ask her to go to the <laughs> store with you? Do I know? Didn't you guys go by the store first? Did mm -hmm. you go to the jewelry store first? Yeah, jewelry store. Okay, so let's tell them the whole thing. Well, it's for her birthday. Come on, be romantic. Show us how romantic you are. We went, and I didn't know the size of her finger, so we, I took her with me to the jewelry store to pick out the ring. And uh, after that, I went and asked her dad for a hand in marriage and all that. And then you walked into the house, dropped down on a knee yeah. with the ring she picked and said, my <laughs> Megan, <laughs> will you marry me? And Megan said? I said yes. I, it was... It was so cute. And mom, you saw this? Yes, sir. And you thought what, mom? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> um, Montel, I hope you can help me. I think they're too young. I think they need to wait. You think they need to wait? Yes, okay. sir. This is Deborah's, Deborah, Deborah, please welcome Deborah to the show. Deborah's mom. Well, not only do you feel that way, but you know, we talked to a whole bunch of your friends and your friends had this to say. Take a look at this. Oh, no. <laughs> Basically, I don't want Joe to get married because he's not old enough yet. I don't think he's mature enough. And one, I'd like to hang out with him a little more. I think Joe and Megan shouldn't get married right now because she is 17. And at 17, you still need to enjoy your teenage years. You have not been to prom. You're not doing any of that stuff. That's all out the window, right? Yeah. So you quit school, you're done with that. Mm -hmm. Or are you going to go back and get your GED? Oh, absolutely. And when do you intend to start doing that? While as you're pregnant? As soon as possible. No. no. Huh? <laughs> no, it's easier for me to do it when I'm 18 because there's a lot of paperwork involved because yeah, I'm under 18. Tough when you, I'm telling you, when you're walking around and that stomach's sticking out three, four months out. And, and, well, I'm not necessarily going to get pregnant. Hear I'm me. The two of you get married in the next year. Listen to me. You don't have enough money to go to the movies. You don't have enough money to buy a video. You don't have enough money to buy clothes. The only thing you're going to do is sit around the house, eat food, stay in the bedroom, and you know what? And get in trouble. Period. That's it. Baby on the way. <laughs> Mom, you want me to talk sense to him? Talk sense to your daughter. Why don't you want her to get married? Montella, I have been trying. She knows that I've, I'm on my fourth marriage. Four, wait, you wait. Four? Yes, sir. <laughs> so I know how I'm that way. I'm not cracking because, you know, I, I've been married twice. So I'm not casting aspersions. But did you not just get married this last weekend? Uh, on the third. <laughs> A couple days ago. Right? Oh. Fourth marriage. Yes, sir. How long do your marriages last, Mom? Uh, the first three, uh, pretty much less than a year, if not just over a year. Just over a year. And this one is going to be for the rest of your life, right? We've been together for seven years. So at least you already have seven years under your belt. Right. But let's talk about your daughter's maturity level. I said it because, I mean, some people and friends have said this about you. You know, you're not the most mature 17-year-old out there. Well, I'm 17. I'm not supposed to be mature, but no. Well, then if you're not supposed to be mature, you're not supposed to be married. Well, I know my 30-year-olds who are not mature. What? Okay. On, okay, the brain level. Okay, I might not be book smart, but I am street smart. I don't know everything, but who does? I'm not trying to put you guys down. I'm just trying to talk some sense into you. If you love each other, you love each other? Yes, we do. You love her? Yes, sir. All your heart? Yes, sir. Everything. You do anything for her? Yeah. You'd do anything for him. Absolutely. Then why don't you just wait three years to get married? The only thing that's going to change... Because if you love each other so much right now, and you know it's for life, it's forever. It's what? forever. That's true. You don't need the ring right now. Because if it's forever, you get the ring next year, you get the ring the following year, you get the year four years from now, if you're so sure. We've already planned everything. And then it got, it, 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 we planned the wedding. I've got my dress. Oh, I've got everything. I've gotten everything. Well, you got a honeymoon? Mm, no. Oh, you got everything. We, we know where we want to go. You got but, food? Well, yeah, we got food. My wedding? dad's taking care of that part. Oh, so I thought you said you planned it. No, the, the family's helping. I mean, the family does do some stuff within the wedding. I mean, they do help plan and they do help pay for it. Yeah, but they're not supposed to be paying for your rent, paying for your weekly food, paying well, for the Well, they don't pay for the rent. They just help us out with groceries and stuff like that. Just minor stuff. Mom, I'm doing all the talking here. You're here to help me out. Tell us something. Please wait. What's going to change? I mean, seriously, what is going to change? There's a lot like... that can change. It can change right now. Heck, you know what can right happen? Here. What can happen, honestly? What can happen is, is uh, just like I said, that he could be out one night in the club. What's your name, sir? Linda. Linda, come here, sir. Linda. 
Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, you know what can happen is so that, squeeze in that chair right there beside her for a second. Right, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But you know what? One night, you know, while Joe and me were out at the club, Lyndon came strolling over one day. Where are you from? Brisbane, Australia. Brisbane, with that with that Australian accent too. Go ahead. <laughs> Slid in one day. How you doing? You getting all nervous? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, you got my point, though, right? So, it's not going to change anything with me and him, though. Oh, really? Yes, if we love each other, what is he going to change? See, I'm going to tell you what's going to change is the fact that right now, I don't even know if you really know what the word love means. Oh, I do. Do you? Well, you can say that you have to be old enough to know what love is. There's no age limit to love. You don't... You Unless, can't put an age limit on love. I just think you have to be mature enough to understand what it is. And already there's been fights between the two of you guys. Everybody's going to gonna argue. Or, yeah, but not the way you guys are already arguing. You're not even married yet. If we fall on our face, that's us. You know, we've already had we already Here's have what I do place. know. Here's what I do know. 60% of marriages in the last 10 years ended in divorce. Those that are to high schoolers or people that are under the age of 20, I think the number is probably higher than that. I don't have the exact number. But you're running right now six out of ten chances that you're going to get divorced just if you get married, period. Now, add all the stuff in that you don't have a job, you don't have an education, you don't have the ability to pay your own bills. Now you just put yourself at the top of the totem pole. And I'm telling you, you're walking right down the street towards divorce. He made the smartest decision for the two of you in the fact that you love each other. He made the decision to say to you, let's Wait. It wasn't let's, him, though. Well, I don't care who made it. He's the one pushing it. Both of you are pushing it together. Let's wait. If you love each other so much, the date doesn't matter. When you start telling me that the date matters, it tells me that you're trying to lock him in. No, okay, no. Okay, well, then not if you're like not, that at all. then wait. I'll take a break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Mr. Coition, you are the breadwinner, are you not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, so you do the work. You also do the cooking. Yes, he yeah. does. You also <laughs> do the pampering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, earlier in the show, you met some guests who are too young. And a lot of people think, well, I should say, I think, and a lot of other people think are too young to get married. And it's one of those kind of couples that people would kind of, eh, I don't know, turn their nose up to if they saw on the street because they think, geez, how can these young people even have a relationship? But people also turn their nose up to other relationships. They have a, the audacity to walk up and say things when they see other couples that are together enjoying a very romantic moment. Please welcome Lisa to the show. And... People have the nerve to say something because, Lisa, you are, well, let's, talk about, let's talk a little bit about you personally. First off, okay. you're a widower. Yes, I am. Well, this is, I'm sorry, I heard, I heard this story. It saddened me because I've heard about things like this. Why don't you tell people what happened to your ex-husband or to your husband? Uh, my husband had a massive heart attack shoveling snow, which you read about every single year, and you're like, who's stupid enough to do that? But it does happen. He was probably dead before he hit the ground. He was a New York City police officer. Yes. Walked outside, and I think we probably read about him last year in the newspaper. Yes, uh, right? in the 2003. Okay, okay, so so uh, you spent some time alone, I guess, yes. mourning that relationship and mourning that loss? Yes. Well, we had an eight-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. and she didn't grieve about it at all. She just went right to stressing about when I'm going to die. Right. So we moved from New York to South Carolina mm -hmm. because I thought it would be a slower pace and she would be better off academically, and emotionally. And you focused all your time on your daughter. Oh, yeah. I had absolutely no intentions of ever getting involved with anybody ever again. Then all of a sudden, <laughs> you're standing around one day and, and, and somebody came to rent. You, you had a house, right? You were renting out yes. room and space? Yeah. You ran out the space to this fine. <laughs> 15, 16 years younger than you, stunning years. man comes rolling up. Can I rent that hot, that room? Yeah, well, it wasn't like that. But. Uh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Well, you rented the room to somebody, yes, I and did. you didn't have any intention whatsoever of having a relationship. No, no. But the next thing you know, <laughs> what happened? Uh, well, we became friends, uh, really good friends, and. Um, then he's, uh, from what I understand from my daughter, who is now 11, now she's 12, but back then she was 11, um, he was asking her questions about, you know, what type of men do I like, and, you know, do, you know, do I like to go out, what do I like to do? And you know, how old are you? Can I ask you? 46. 46? And this guy is how old? 31. 31? He's asking questions. Didn't you say, you better tell that little punk just, to, uh, you know what I mean, just back off? No, I didn't even believe her. Really? <laughs> I was like, and no, then he, he doesn't. Then he started asking you the questions himself, did he not? Um, 
No, he actually, he didn't start asking me questions. He just, um, one, night, one day I called up and I was telling them that I was going to be home soon and he said he wanted to talk to me. And at that point he told me how he felt about me and I was really surprised. <laughs> and you said? I love you too. <laughs> and all of a sudden, bingo, 46 and 31, hot item. Yeah. Yeah, look at the <laughs> smile on her face. And you know, there's a lot of other women in this audience that are over 40 going. <laughs> That's all right, they can do that. With the big B thing at you. Got mine. I <laughs> got mine. Talk about yours for a second. What's this like being, you know, you have a lot of friends that are your age, right? Girlfriends. Yeah. And you have to explain to them what it's like having this boy toy. Well, yeah. What do you call him? Stud my... muffin? I don't know. What do you call him? What? <laughs> what? What's a home for my you? My trophy boyfriend. Your trophy boyfriend. <laughs> so you get to stroll around in town in, in South Carolina with your trophy on your arm. Yeah. Pretty studly, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it look, feels look good. It feels good. Huh? I don't see if there's not a lot of women who have that kind of, uh. Please welcome Eddie to the show. <laughs> How are you, sir? Yeah, yeah. Say, sit down and talk to me for a second. You're 31? Yes, sir. And what would make a 31-year-old guy say, you know what, I'm, I'm ready to, like, kick it just with this older woman, this, this cougar? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't notice what y'all call, huh? <laughs> uh, you know that, right? Women between about ages 35, 45, 50, y'all are cougars. So. Yeah, urban cougars. Urban, yeah. urban cougars. So what made you roll down the cougar lane? Uh, we, we really have a good time together. You have a good time together? Yeah, yeah, we, you know. But I mean, some people would say that, that you know, between 31 and 45, that's a, that's a large age difference. Not so big of a deal for a man who's 46 and a woman who's 31. Now, why is but that? The why is that? Well, I'm just saying, people would say that, but the <laughs> difference is bigger because most of the time, the man who's 46 and the woman is 31, the man is the, is the money earner. He's normally more sat in his stable and, and helping out. But now, in this situation, you are the breadwinner, are you not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, so you do the work. You also do the cooking. Yes, he yeah. does. You also do the pampering. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll take a break. We'll find out how it works. We'll come back. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> If they live together and my sister sees that every day, I'm going to be involved with somebody. That's going to be for me. She's going to grow up and leave. Okay, this is supposed to be from me. That's icing on the cake that he's good with her. Unfortunately, sometimes when older women find younger men, most of those younger men are there kind of, you know, living off of them, taking advantage of them in some ways. But you kind of hit the jackpot here because you got a younger man who's got the job, the breadwinner. He cooks, he cleans, he pampers. I you really didn't have to train him. He walked really through the door did. trained, right? Yeah, I really did. <laughs> it, it, when, was, was this something that you really think in your life, and if you go back five years, did you think five years ago that you would be dating an older woman? A woman that's much older than yourself? No, it never crossed my mind. And it never crossed your mind to not date her, right? No, no. All right, well, you know, that there's one person, I guess there's a couple people in your life that have a little problem with this, and those are your daughters. <laughs> Please welcome Lisa's 20-year-old daughter, Tina, to the show. <laughs> welcome her. And you two have never met before, right? Yeah. No. Please meet your future daughter-in-law. Hey, what's up, Tina? Hey, how are you? Good. <laughs> Tina, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, just, just look down the road. That could be your stepfather right there. You know, there's a lot to think about. There's it's a lot not to, just them. Yeah. It's not they what have to worry about. What yeah. do they have to worry about? I have a 12-year-old sister. Uh -huh. She lives with us. Lives with them. Okay, and so, well, so what's I, your worry? How is how is that? Well, we're not is she planning okay on getting with married. that? Are you? You're not planning on getting married? No, no I mean, we just take it day by married. day. You know, it's not like we point. planned on but an how's Paul extreme feel? step like that. You know, are, are, is Paul living in the middle of this? Oh yeah, Paul is great. Well, a, a Tina's concern, I guess, really is, is if we were to split up because having Paula having lost her father. Right. And she, she does get very attached to men, and she did have a crush on Eddie when he first moved in. <laughs> this is my 11-year-old. She, you know, she, she gotcha. had a crush on him. And uh, since she lost her father, she does attach herself to men. 
you know, um, any men that have been around me, she will attach herself to rather quickly. So that's part of the reason why I was not going to get involved with anybody because I didn't want to subject her to anybody. Even if I was dating, you know, like going out to dinner, I didn't want her to meet them because I don't want her to think this is somebody she's But now to she's already to. met Eddie. She's now attached to Eddie. And, and Eddie loves her. Too. Eddie's very good with her. And even if Eddie and I were to split up tomorrow, we would still be best friends and we'd still be in each other's lives forever. And I totally, 100% believe that. And that relationship would still be able to be there between you and your daughter, me yeah. and your daughter, so it would be okay. So what's wrong with that then? Well, not just that. I mean, Mom, you have other, you have other kids. You know, not, not all of us are so okay with this. It's how long do you plan on staying around if you guys aren't going to get married? Well, like I said, we take it day by day, and, you know, is, is that it's not like I'm saying, no, it involved? would never happen, but, you know, I'm not going to, you know, all we can do is take it day by but day. But what do you mean, is that healthy when everybody else is involved? Who else is involved? It's your mom's relationship. She has a right exactly. to her own adult relationship but with my an adult sister, man. You know yeah, what I mean? If they live together, and my sister sees that every day. Your sister sees a loving relationship, and if we were to split up, as I said, he's not just walking out of our lives. Number one. And number two, know my, you know my philosophy on the whole thing is if I'm going to be involved with somebody, that's going to be for me. She's going to grow up and leave. Okay? This is supposed to be for me. That's icing on the cake that he's good with her. Thank you. As my, my adult children, I think, should support me in that decision. I'm happy that you're happy if you're happy. I'm very happy. I just don't <laughs> want anything to, you know, go wrong. I don't want to see Paula get upset oh, with anything. I don't want to see anything go wrong want, in your relationship. I want to see you. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh-oh, there we go. So you start busybody in mom. Mom get busybody in yours. But the, but the, here's what comes the question. How much time are you spending with Paula, your sister? Not that much. What does she think about the relationship between Eddie and your mom? I never really asked her. Well, you should ask her, because I bet you might find out that she likes it and she's enjoying it. Yeah, and then be as supportive as you can be. She, she is a mature, mature little girl. All right, well, good. Then be as supportive as you can, because I think, you know, as long as mom is happy, right? All right, let me take a break. We'll be back right after that. Nothing wrong with a younger man dating an older woman. Uh, they're more experienced, more mature. Why not give it a shot? No way, there's no way I'm dating an older woman. That is nasty. It's like dating my mom or my grandmother. They're droopy and old and have wrinkles. I don't really see anything wrong with that. I mean, as long as, you know, she's got a good job and good body. I mean, I, just, I don't think there's really anything wrong with that. Good body. I don't see if there's anything wrong with that. Well, every day. and even Madonna and Guy Ritchie. And what's the one thing that they all have in common? They're older women with younger men. The cougars are on the prowl <laughs> out there. It's accepted in Hollywood, but is it accepted in real life all over the country? Well, today we're going to meet some women who say that they're proud of the fact that they only have young guys in their lives. Please welcome Marissa to the show. Welcome up. Marissa, you only date younger guys. Yes. You only, and, and, and you, let, let, let's just talk about this for a second, because this last guy that you, you're dating now, how long have you, the two of you been together? A year and a half. And you are, can I ask, give me a ballpark, how old are you? 36. 36, and how old is he? 24. 24. Yes. And, and you, you must have other friends that are your age. So right. So you're running around with these 20, this 24-year-old boy. Right. What do they say to you? Uh, they're jealous. <laughs> right. Well, why, why, do you, why not pick somebody your own age? Well, you know, he does a lot of things for me that someone else really couldn't, you know. Someone else couldn't do? Like what? <laughs> well, pray, I mean, obviously, pray towel. Look, look at him. I mean. But let, let me, let me, let's talk about this this way because when you say he provides you with things, but you flip the coin and provide right. him with things. Yes, it works both ways. So, and uh, I'm going to talk about this. i got to get this out of here because, you know, in this in this world of the new term, the... Cougar. Sugar mama. Sugar, sugar mama. <laughs> there used to be sugar daddies. No, sugar mama. Now you're the sugar mama. Right. So you found yourself a sugar baby to right. take care of. Right, right. And you take care of your sugar baby. Right, and he takes care of me. <laughs> one, way, <laughs> one way or the other. <laughs> All right, but let's talk about that taking care of. I mean, it's almost, I'm just saying it. I'm just saying. Right. Like you put in the order. You're well, uh, Healed lady, you've right. had a good profession your whole life, right? right? So you yes. got a little, got a little bling in the bank, right? right? Of course, yes. And so, 
you feel like when it's time to bling yourself, like some women, they buy diamonds and necklaces and stuff, right. you just bling yourself with a little boy toy. Right. Yeah. Yes? Well, it's, you know what it does too, too? It's, it's easier, like, we, like we, we, I met him on um, SugarDaddyForMe.com. Um, SugarDaddyForMe.com. Yes, so the thing is, it's, and especially, I'm so busy in my life, so the thing is, it's just much easier to, like, you know, find someone in that... Like so you meet somebody like that, it's easier, it's convenient, yeah, here's the deal, busy, right. you know, you bingo bango, chase, be here know. at 9 o'clock right. and get there out by 10. There you go. Don't have to worry about him sleeping over. Not all the time. But, no. you, get, but you always know where he's at. Of course. <laughs> Please welcome Marissa's 20-year-old boyfriend, Kyle, 24-year-old boyfriend. Kyle, Kyle to the show. Talk to me, Kyle. You heard me out here. I'm talking about you, man. I said, you know, she's a sugar mama and you the sugar baby. Yeah. I, so is it okay being a sugar baby? It's all right. Yeah, it's stress-free for the most part. <laughs> she takes care of me. I think she takes care of me. <laughs> and, 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 and everybody's just sitting there like it's going... <laughs> Trying to figure out how it works. I'm gonna take a break. When we come back, I want you to talk to me. What did you did you did you say I'm gonna go into I wanna get taken care of? I'm gonna be taken care of. I'm right. gonna find me this Tell cougar me. and I'm getting taken care of. Is that yeah. what you said originally? That's, Is that what you thought? It works, it's mutually beneficial. Oh, yes. but, I'm, but I'm saying, before you even met her, was that a plan? You sat back one day in the gym and you were working out and you said, dang, you know what? I don't know. I'm going to find me one of these cougars in this gym and, and they're going to rock, take care of me. Is that what you were thinking? I've always liked older women, just Same. for the maturity. Okay. So you may as well have them hook you up. Might right. as well. Might as well. Let's take a break. We'll be back right <laughs> after this. Yes, ma'am, you had a question. Uh, yes, other than you taking care of him and him taking care of you. What else is there? What else? Like? Well, I mean, is there is there more to the relationship? Because it, it really seems to appear more as a business relationship as instead of a personal relationship. Well, well if it was business, like, it, it seems to be that you're referring to, like, prostitution, some kind of bartering prostitution, yeah. you know? It's definitely not that at all. Yeah. I mean, emotions are flying high here. We're in love. Yeah. You know? Uh, you've been together now for a year. Uh huh. Over right? a year. How long do you, How long do you think this is gonna last? Until you get tired and want to trade him in for well, another it's twenty-two not year? That, you know, it's like I was looking at sugar. It was like I mean, a, you know, because sugardaddy.com, dude, you might hit. You're twenty-four right now. Sugardaddy for me. Sugardaddy for, sugar sugar for me. You're okay. twenty-four right now, but you might hit twenty-five. She could trade your butt in for two thirty-year-olds, fifty-year-olds, year olds year olds year olds Let's go 19 year olds. Over 18. 19. I was just trying to cut his age down. I know. Two 19 year olds. She could trade you in. I'll be back on the website. No, I'm just kidding. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, I'm just kidding. I see. I was looking for a sugar babe. So, you know, it's like, because I'm very busy in my, in my life, so I don't really have time to go out to the clubs and whatever. So you cut to the, ch the ch um, cut chase, whatever, rat race, whatever, and you find what you want. And how, wait, now how many nights a week do you guys spend together? It depends. Oh, Probably like Any three given or month. four. In one month, how well, many nights a week? Oh, like three or four nights a week, I guess. So, you, so. Or is you, that a booty call, Calvin? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I, you call it what you want. I want to know how many of y'all do. I mean, is it four or five a week? You get together? You it depends. Or you on call? It's like, you know, oh, get yes, over here and start muffin call. right oh, now. He's on 10, call. 25. He's on call. Dang. I got him the pager and the phone. Montel, we're and both the car. peaking. We're both at our peaks. And the car. Well, not yet. Yes. Right. Wait, this lady up here is shaking her head. She's going, he said peaking, and she's shaking her head. What are you shaking your head for? Wouldn't you want to have a man that you could just pick up the phone and say, get your butt over here, get in the bed, and do what, what I pay you, pay you to do, no, daggone it. I have a husband. I mean, it's, I have that. But well, don't you wish you could tell your husband to get your butt home right now, get in the bed, and just be ready when I get home? He'd be happy if I did that. <laughs> Please welcome Valerie to the show. Valerie is a sex and relationship expert. You uh -huh. wrote the book Cougar. Thank you so much for being here. Have a seat. Welcome her to the show. You wrote this book. I gotta take a break. Here's the book. It's out here right now. A guide for older women dating younger men. This has become a national pastime. Yes, it's huh? a trend. A huge a trend. trend. A huge trend. Yes. Let's take Isn't a break. Wonderful. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I think it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful too. I, I do too. I mean, look, if 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 in fact men have been okay. doing this since the dawn of time, Absolutely. and women are now in positions right. and have means and. 
they can do this, I guess it's, I got to say it's okay, right? Right. <laughs> well, how can, right. Why are they so hesitant to applaud? We'll find out when we come back. We'll take a break. We'll be back right after this. Okay. So I'm sitting here looking at the Cougar rules. Feel sexy, be sexy, dress sexy. Number two, <laughs> ignore anyone who says you shouldn't. Number three, avoid sex on the first encounter. Yes. Number four, <laughs> who said yes? Number four, well, okay, if you, oh, I see, number four was, watch this, number three is avoid sex on the first encounter. Number four is, well, okay, if you absolutely must. <laughs> number five, keep control, keep control when hunting. Really? No. <laughs> number six, well, up to the third martini anyway. <laughs> number seven, think short term, not long term. Number eight, okay, think long term if the sex is amazing. <laughs> number nine, carry condoms. Yes. Number 10, use them. <laughs> okay, those are the rules for cougar hunting. Hey, but this phenomenon has really kind of taken off since Demi Moore and Aston Kutcher, mm -hmm. and we see it all in the oh, press. Oh, it's been around for centuries, Montel, as well. But it's been hidden. Mm -hmm. Society always gave everything to older men and said, hey, it's okay, you mm -hmm. can have a, a, a wife sort of half your age, like grandchild age, mm -hmm. but that's wonderful. Let's celebrate it. But then a woman Women? does the same. Ugh. You know, they give them a hard time. And really, it's no different. Why does it make me feel okay that my grandfather's out chasing little girls, but it just doesn't make me good to feel that my grandma's out chasing little boys? I, yeah. just, I just don't care. Why? What is the problem? Well, I don't know, but I got it. How about, how about the fact that, how about the fact that, you know, it's like, real. It's like, I'm just, I'm thinking in terms of this, again, when you, dude, you, you like, you're a dying breed. You're 24. By the time you're 26, they put you out the pasture. Get a younger one. I don't, I, no, I, no, no, it doesn't work that way. Is it, has it become no. easier, though, for women now because the examples are out there in the press that more yes. men are yes, looking and seeking Yes, it's very, very celebrity-driven, mm -hmm. of course, because that puts the sort of, uh, accentuates the whole thing and makes people accept it better. But women have always dated younger, particularly vital, sophisticated women that are sexy and together, and they're independent, especially cougars. Cougars mm -hmm. don't want to get married, don't want to have kids, don't right. want to cohabit. They want to have fun. They want to have some good sex. Great. <laughs> <laughs> they they don't want all guys yeah. who can't. That's right. They're who so are sick, you know, or whatever. I love they you. They want to have some fun. Dang. <laughs> finally, somebody's fun. And why shouldn't they? Come on. Why shouldn't, shouldn't they? they? That's right. You've worked your whole life. You've earned the, the, yes. the, the status that sure. you have. And you can afford it, but... What do, what do you say to those detractors, the other women who say, oh, you leave the little boy alone, cradle robber, you cradle robber. When you walk in the good club and they say that, it's a good yeah, cradle. Mind your own cradle. business, is what I say. Huh? Mind, mind your own business. business. And look how happy I am. That's right. Well, okay, well, I got to <laughs> tell you, the book is called Cougar. It's by Valerie Gibson. It's yes. in a bookstore near you. Hey, you want to learn? I, I, I gotta go to break, but here, I just, I, just, I just pulled out this, just jumped to this page, 134. His children will burst into tears every time you speak to them, <laughs> tell their mother that you didn't feed them while refusing to eat anything you prepare, tell their father that you abused them, <laughs> refuse to leave his side, wreck your furniture and get candy stuck in the car's fur, <laughs> want to join you in bed if they're staying overnight, <laughs> and his children will also listen in on your conversation and repeat everything you have to their mother. <laughs> All right, let me take a break. We'll be back right after there is the rules. <laughs> And I want you to give all of our guests a big round of applause for being here today. And I guess, I guess the bottom line is that really, honestly, we can all have a lot to say about other people's relationships, but really, it really boils down to the people that are in them. And having said that, that means that maybe I should mind my own business when it comes to the two of you, right? Because it's really your relationship and it's not about us. I should remind, I should mind my own business when it comes to you because you're old enough to try to make your own, up your own choices, right? No! <laughs> I, you know, I'm, no, I'm not. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to mind my business with the two of you. I'm going to mind my business with the two of them. I'm not minding my business with the two of you. You are destined to be guest on my show in less than a year, coming back when she comes back crying, 
pregnant and left alone. And that's not making you out to be a bad guy. It's just telling you that you haven't matured enough yet to figure this all out. You guys are not ready. And why don't you work real hard at helping her get her GED? Why don't you work real hard at helping him get his GED? Why don't you work real hard at helping him get in the community college so he can take care of that baby you're going to have in the next year and a half? And then I might reconsider what I'm saying. But right now, Mom, don't get married. Out of time. Join us on the next month. Talk.